Good morning, Eagles. Please stand for our morning prayer. Today is Wednesday, January 18th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We hear in today's gospel acclamation. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Let us pray. You are our God, and we always give our praise to you. Lord God, we give thanks to your leadership and moral invitation to do good in this world. We are blessed to have you as someone we can aspire to be like in our lives, who strongly sticks to their faith and is willing to help others. We praise your name for your presence in our everyday lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. St. Margaret Mary, pray for us. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hey everyone, today on Eagle TV 2.0, we have entertainment report with Grace, cooking with Christina, and a baseball room update. Buckle up and get ready for this show to be wild. Lance Laster and the local local nerd historian Jack Hubbard. Now Lance, how are you doing this fine morning? I'm great. How are you Jack? Well, I would feel a lot better once we got the announcements out of the way. I've been stressing about them ever since the show started. I didn't know you got stressed so easily. Okay, we can do them now I guess. Okay, so for the first announcements, applications for class officer elections are now available and due next Wednesday the 25th. And congratulations to our song team for placing first at the UDA West Coast Championship this past weekend. Varsity won first for their palm routine and JV won first for their jazz routine. Great job, guys. That was a lot out of breath. That was a lot of talking. Isn't talking fast like your whole thing? That was Owen's ability, not mine. Well, let's move on to give you a second to catch your breath. Let's talk about celebrities. I can't do celebrities. Grace, take it away. Coachella 2023 will be held at the Empire Polo Club in Indio, as always. Headliners are Bunny, Blackpink, Frank Ocean, with other performances from Metro Boomin, Kid Cudi, Labyrinth, and Cal Calvin Harris. There are so many other performers this year. The lineup looks pretty good. Coachella's two weekends will be April 14th through the 16th, April 21st through the 23rd. Next up, the 80th annual Golden Globes will also be held last was also held last week. The Golden Globes was hosted by Gerard Camrechel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. At Beverly Hotel, Hilton Hotel, in Beverly Hills, on January 10th, some big winners were there were the Fablemans for the Best Drama Picture, Austin Butler and Kate Blatchett, for Best Drama Actors and Actress. The Bansies and Harris for. Best Comedy or Musical Pictures, Steven Spielberg for Best Director. House of Dragon for Best Drama Series, The White Lotus for Best Limited Series, and uh, About Elementary for the Best Musical or Comedy Series. There were so many huge wins this year at the Golden Globes, it's going to be hard to top these movies and shows from 2022. Now, that's all of the entertainment, so I think it's back to me and Lance for some hosting. And can I just say, celebrities live in such a different world. Yeah, all that learning about celebrities is making me hungry though, Jack. Well, luckily we have a cooking with Christina, so I heard she's making pancakes. Let's see them. Good morning, SM. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make pumpkin pancakes. First, in a large mixing bowl, place one and a fourth cups of flour. Then add two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of ground ginger, one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, and a pinch of ground cloves. <laughs> then add 
Then in a separate bowl, add 1 cup of milk, 6 tablespoons of pumpkin puree, 2 tablespoons of melted butter, and 1 egg. After mixing your wet ingredients, add them to your dry ingredients and fold them all together. Then with your skillet, melt some butter on a medium heat. Then cook the pancakes for about 3 minutes on each side, but make sure to check them so that they don't get too dark. Then go ahead and chop your pancakes with your favorite topping, and that is how you make deliciously fluffy pumpkin pancakes. Wow, that looks so good, Christina. Now, I hate to say it, but we're going to run out of time, and yeah, we have to end the show. So, I am your nerd historian, Jack Hubbard. And I'm Lance Laster. Have a great day, Eagles.